And I mean, he had those two huge clutches at the end of the game. It is interesting. I think also the point of the desk that, you know, Space Soldiers themselves banning Inferno is kind of crazy considering how, how tough Pig has been on it. They seem to be clinging like a life raft to any map they can find a win on in these past two majors. Paz going to try and influence things early on. Aggressive with one pop flash. A follow-up as well. Taps and here to cover his teammate is quiet. He fought enough time, but can't buy a kill. And now the hit is on, and Paz is just taking them all down. Three kills, and that's quick. That was very smart from Space Soldiers. They got the advanced position, and then when they knew Big was going to be at the corner, they flashed their way into the sort of next stage of it, and then they just powered through with the Glocks. Because otherwise, Paz in that corner can be kind of trapped a little bit. But the rest of his team just show up, and that's it. Very well done. The triple kill, obviously, and Keev is going to be running away. I can't believe how quickly Paz just, you know, turns it on. He shoots like 10 bullets, and then all of a sudden, three kills come out. Yeah. So that was great. If there, is, there always is that conversation that you can have. Um, I always think it's an interesting one, the, the idea of for these early games in the day, for like the first games, that teams choose to start on the CT side. Since you can't dictate, you can kind of get lulled into, I guess, not really falling asleep, but just kind of losing some focus so some teams like to start t side in the earlier matches during the day yeah i mean that makes perfect sense to me i think especially on a map like cobblestone i think uh, you said you know one thing is is maybe but it's just the fact that you you don't necessarily have much control over the pace of the game right so you, you yeah you could be forced to to play at the opponent's pace for you know the first 15 rounds and that can i think that can put a little bit of dent in your morning yeah it's gonna be a little bit annoying well, hopefully Big is going to respond here. They have uh, four HE nades they've picked up and a smoke. We love to see this. We love to see if it can work out. They also have two decoys, which is pretty interesting. You imagine these these four nades would be, well, at least three of them, obviously, heading over towards this B bomb site. Just listening for a rush, holding those nades at the ready, just in case someone tries to attack that choke point. They get the opportunity. They haven't thrown the nades yet. And they come out late, and I think they actually both missed. <laughs> At all. <laughs> you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Well, we I mean, guess there's still the fireworks of it, Moses. There's always that. Yeah, it's still early as well. Maybe just uh, not warmed up with the, the throwing arms. It's really interesting. I have a sense, although I can't really pick it up, but I have a sense that a lot of the time grenades are maybe not worth throwing. Especially AG grenades. I'm not talking about flashbangs and everything else, but yeah. like AG grenades seem to be sort of a coin flip about whether or not they get you killed or you do 10 damage to somebody else, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they can be they can be disappointing when you when you see it. I always just remember how many times we're like we see a grenade coming in, we're like, oh, this is gonna be a phenomenal grenade, it's gonna wreck him, and then like three damage comes out. Yeah, there's also that. You you really never know. Keep here with the Mac 10 though, that could be really great for him. He's obviously gonna be the AWP player for this team, so if he can get even one kill here, that would be helpful. Although they're all gonna exit on the other side, so denying him that meal obviously very upsetting. He's just going to be forced to wait. He can still use it the next round, though. So maybe he could find a kill there. I mean, he's got the armor as well. So I'd be interested to see how that works out. Absolutely. And he can drop that CZ over to a teammate as well, which can uh, which can add an element of danger. Obviously, if he just keeps the armor through this next round into the fourth, that's that's a benefit in and of itself. Have you noticed that people have stopped doing the counter boost and drop from the CT side? I mean, yes. not completely stopped, but it's very rare compared to what it used yeah. to be. I, I think teams have just gotten way too good at countering it. Like, teams don't even mess with it anymore. There's enough, uh, people have found enough off angles down at the ground floor um, of those rooms where, where they can punish you if you continue pushing forward. People spam through the smoke. Sometimes you get double, triple nated, Molotovs, whatever it might be. And I think it's just, at a certain point, not worth the risk. We got four more HC grenades, Moses. The fireworks is absolutely ready here. We'll see if that's going to be working out or not. Major's pushing in, so he could be a target for it. Nothing really happening yet. Oh, there's one good grenade. Major and Paz taking some damage. You like to see that. I think they must have gone all the way over the wall. So not at the foot of forefront, but all the way back to the hallway. Can get some pretty good grenade throws in there as well. Unfortunately, the most of the action is coming from drop zones and tears leading the way with an opening kill onto Tapson. And there's not really anything that Big can do to stop this. They have a decent crossfire setup, but with just the weak weaponry. Actually, they're going to push it. They do find one. They do find a second. But still, there's just far too many rifles and AKs. That nade's going to do some damage. Next down to about half HP. But he's got an AK, so he has a chance here. Yeah, it's an opening. One more grenade on him would be very bad, and Paz does have one, so he's got to be careful here. Looking for it. Oh, well, Gobby instead is the one to eat it. 
And there's the follow-up. Paz doing a good job here to close out the round, and Space Soldiers will be up 3-0. and oh. What about this idea, Moses? What if you... All right. What if you boost two people up in that drop, and then they boost on top of each other once they're up, so that they get an angle that, you know, just no one will see coming? Stop. I'm just saying. Do you know, that's so much manpower to put in one spot of the map. That like you would just get, you could easily you could get around where you have deagles or something, you know? Okay. You're, just, you're not really expecting anything anyway. So. Alright, in that case, let's see it. I'm, I'm down in to In that case, still no yeah, is I, what you're really saying, <laughs> just, just politely. <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, Major's going to lead the way. Again, they're doing a good job of getting a, that aggressive stance. Now, a lot of utility being used by the big side of things in a round where they don't necessarily have too much of it. But everything's pretty standard from here. Ligia and Gabi kind of doubling up on the drop zone. Nex and Taps and watching platform. It's Keeve all alone with that AWP, and he's got no armor. I think that was a jump throw from Tapson, but he got blocked by the top of the wall, so that it just goes... That was a very cool angle. There's Keeve. No armor on him, but he still takes down Engine. That's a good way to get into the round here. Four versus five, and now a little bit of a battle. The bomb is dropped, so... Absolutely, that gear should have spotted that. Three versus four, and Majors managed to sneak into the B-bomb side. They don't know. They've all rotated out. This could be just completely cutting off the head of Big in this round. They're a man up, so they must be feeling very good right now. But when they try and get back into the bomb site, they're going to be in for a bit of a surprise. Next goes, doesn't check the corner. And Majors waiting. The double spray down is in. Next and Tapson absolutely gone. And Keevan got B. They need very fast kills here, otherwise they might as well just retreat. That's such a great position. And that's such a mistake from Big on such a heavy rotation. I mean, there's two dead bodies at the base of that ramp. They're not even close to the bomb site to, to evacuate everyone from that A bomb site. Really cripples them. Major with a great lurk play towards B. That's the perfect secondary option that Space Soldiers needed. He's able to cut off the rotations. He has all the information that it's clear, and it's an easy round for Space Soldiers, despite running into you know, some struggles at A. Yeah, but that kind of trade, you should be in a position on the big side to just spread out on the bomb sites and have a pretty good mo sort of situation. But yeah. you're right, they were just over-rotated towards A, and it ends up backfiring very heavily. That is something that's not going to make you very happy. Now, Keeve does save the AWP, and again, he had no armor, so if he'd been tagged in that round, it could have gone badly. And let's remember as well, yesterday when we saw Big playing this map, there were plenty of rounds that they were happy to have Keeve with an AWP and four CZs and upgraded pistols purchased around it. In fact, that was buys they went into a number of times, not just from a saved AWP. So if they're going to be comfortable with this situation they're in right now, as much as they don't want to be here, they're familiar with it. I think we saw this buy three or four times yesterday on their CT side. Yeah, you're right. I feel like coming into this tournament, everybody's eyes, from Space Soldiers at least, uh, were on Santeros, but Paz is doing an amazing job right now. He's just completely out of control. In the beginning of this game, already they're setting up their down drop and they're on the plateau, so a lot of pressure being put on right now. Keeve is starting to rotate that huge cannon into the B-bomb side, but is he going to be there in time is the question. That's a nice grenade landing right in the face of Major. We'll take him down, even though they've sustained some damage. And a bit of a return kill there. Paz finding even more. And Centara is coming out of drop to get that kill on Gob B. So a bit unfortunate for B. It looked like maybe if they'd cooled it down a bit, they could have held that bomb side a bit more. Oh, look, he is praying for this jump up from Kallax. I don't think it's going to come in quite yet as the only player there. He's going to try and get a different angle to spot the head. Can't land the shot. Now, Keeve is here with the AWP. There's the peak and there's the kill. Now another one from Keeve, and he's still alive, but eventually goes down looking for the other angle. Too many Space Soldiers players. I was thinking throughout that round before they got that kill with the HE grenade, Anders, I was wondering it would be cool to go back and see how many nades they purchased, how much money they spent on nades in those first, like, four or five rounds of this game and how much damage they'd actually done with them. Because remember, like, the first, yeah. second, and third round, they didn't do anything despite buying eight nades, I think, across both rounds. Yeah, yeah, so you're right. Per kill, that's an enormous amount of money yeah. to, to be putting in, at least potentially. 5-0 oh in favor of Space Soldiers right here, and Paz currently is at 9-1-1 as a scoreline. It's a number that Big might be needing if this continues. It's, it's, it's gone very rough at the beginning here, once again, for the Big team. Obviously, they made up for it last time, but um, still... <laughs> 
don't want to have to always make up for bad beginnings. I love this for Major. This is two rounds now where he's almost just like turned the brain off and he's just playing with his balls and he's got a great angle towards the A bomb site. And he's getting all the way up and he has to know that there's going to be presence towards long A. It's all about the timing though. Oh, the Gia's going to find him. Unfortunately, he stays out in the open too long. If he had kept being aggressive out towards the bomb site itself, towards double doors, or even towards long, he could have made a huge play. It's unfortunate, but you like the assertiveness. Yeah, now they're getting a little bit paranoid. Keeve looking in. This is a good angle. Oh, he does miss the shot. Engine, does he want to recommit? If he goes down, then that probably is the round. He needs the headshot, and he's going to get it. Taking down Keeve. He knows Leggy was going to be there. The timing was so good. Leggy had the grenade in, but he's going to still win the fight. That's a double kill for Leggy. And that's going to be a lot better now for B. Again, they're a man up, and this time, they just need Legia to stay alive for a couple of seconds, and the backup will be there. He's got a smoke that he's going to put out to try and help a little bit. Got B's ready with the flashbang over the wall. Let's see if that's going to work out. No, Paz will take him down. Flashbang not there in time. And now it's a little bit of a problem again. Yeah, it really is. Although that bomb's got to get its way to the bomb site. It actually going to peek at him just a second earlier, and Paz might have been in more trouble. The smoke from Legia actually helping him. Great win from Gob B. They haven't pushed out yet, though. They're still stuck in these hallways. One above. Calyx beneath the balcony just waiting in a two-on-two. Two. Yeah, this is such a powerful position because if people want to jump out from that balcony, they're going to be very exposed, especially while they're mid-air. That's a good pick off there. Got beat, taking out Calyx, and now Paz alone. But he's been so good. He's going to take the one kill. Tabson down on the low ground, and Paz just looking for more. He is an absolute monster in this game right now. Looking for the spray. He's going to get the headshot. Triple for him, and a total of 12. 12, 1, and 1. He's lost his mind. He's not even reacting. He's just loving it. He's just in the zone. The great start to the game for him, and he's piling it on now. Six to zero. Too much ground given up from Big. This is a great one versus two. The movement, the mobility. Tapson doesn't even have a kit, so, I mean, you can see this is why he has to run. This is why the, all the audio cues going past his way. And then he's just ready in the perfect position. Great round. A lot of it based off, even though Major doesn't get anything, I think the fact that Major makes it so far towards the APC and he's just like, all right, guys, well, like, they're not even really watching the bomb site. Everyone just come back. Obviously, the kill on Kiev is a big help. Well, you mentioned that the AWP and CC buy was something that, that big did a lot yesterday. Another thing they did a lot was give up mid-control. So they were covering hallways and then yeah. middle of map, but, but that whole mid-section was open a lot of the time. And that can be, that can get a little bit tricky. Legia did win the early fight, so I mean, it wasn't really, wasn't obviously his fault. More grenades have been purchased, Moses. Are you keeping, keeping track on this? That's another no, I don't $900. Have, I don't have my, uh, my tally sheet here. All right. Um, yeah, this is, we'll see how, how it goes. They've, ooh, there's Xantares, the opening kill that they've committed. I think actually, uh, Xantares must have been dinked. He's on the A side of the map, so yeah, those aren't the HE grenades that come out. There's still two in hand on God B and Tapson. Look at this. I, I, I just love everything about this. What is up with Big in their, in their jumps? Yeah, they're, they're, they're really good at it, and that's a nice little throwback. <laughs> Obviously, they did receive a lot of flack for, uh, for that. I like it, though. That's a cool one, using the, uh, the small jump to make it happen. Regardless, two nades used. I don't think there's much damage. Maybe 16 on Major. Flashbang's over. Utility smoke wall going to be around the rock. They're going to push right through is big. Two players inside the bomb site. The scout on Kiev better be incredible. It's basically all they've got. There's the name from Gombi getting a kill. So they found two in that fashion, but unfortunately not much more is going to go their way. And Space Soldiers, they've got a healthy economy. Paz is going to have 16,000 after this round. No, 15,000, excuse me. Take it either way. I mean, I feel like at this point, you know. <laughs> Splitting hairs. That's still pretty good. It was an expensive round. They lose, lost three players, and for a minute there, it looked like it could have got out of control, but it didn't. Space Soldiers prevail 7-0 and oh right now, moving into the eighth round. And, I mean, now Big have got to reach deep to try and pull themselves out of this one. Double AWP is what we're looking at here. Tabson with one, Key with another, and I don't want to do this, but Tabson's got zero kills. That, Ooh, that, that must change. Bloody hell. Yeah, it really does. Legia forced back by the smoke and all that presence, spreading through the wall, trying to get lucky. Does Keeve get aggressive here? That is the question, is when does he turn this corner? Because he's poised to do it, and he's starting to inch up now. Where 
course, Space Soldier's gonna be Major and Engine both coming over. There's the stairs, the flick down misses, and he can't get away. No option for Keeve in that scenario. Engine's gonna find it, and Xanterz is, this is such a great flank, especially combined with Kallax and drops him. There's a kill from Xanterz, and Nex is such low HP, he's so afraid to take this fight. Xanterz has him pinned down, another win, but that angle is just too strong. Tapson's been spotted out, but they're in a two on two at the very least, and this flank could win the round. Let's see what happens. Still got plenty of time right now, and they're waiting. Bomb goes down finally. Leggy is waiting for Tabson to get a little bit closer, then they can start to move in together. Tabson finally picked up a kill in the round here. They must win this one. Double AWP investment. Leggy is gone. Instant headshot from Paz. He seems to be able to do nothing else right now. Tabson not even going to get that Molotov in there. There's a great shot on engine. Close range makes the jump. <laughs> Paz is so quick. He can't even get down on the ground again. Paz is being very aggressive in these clutch situations. He's now up to 16 and two, and obviously just imbued with comp confidence. So, I mean, I think Tapson is just caught off guard by the fact that Paz is out in the open, ready to take that fight. He's jumping for information, maybe a little bit ill-advised in retrospect, obviously, but trying to do anything he can to get a read of what's coming next. Well, so hard to know, right? Because, because Paz is so far out, he's yeah. really exposed in that jump. But if Paz had been on the bomb side, it probably would have just been Tabson's head that just peeked up from behind the truck. So yep. a little bit crazy right there. Eight and zero. And the Turkish madness continues into round number eight. They've got CCs and more grenades. And they're still not doing anything. Yeah. Utility usage not on point on this CT side. Molotov to force players off stairs and again towards this B bomb side. I mean, we've seen this play out basically eight rounds into this half. There's a grenade. That's not bad. Need more of it, but they're out of HEs actually in this round. So Legia is going to use the smoke to block off drop, make this a one front battle towards platform. But Space Soldiers, I mean, obviously up 8 0. They haven't had any issues taking this portion of the map whenever they've wanted it. It would be interesting if they could force someone to sort of drop in because of the smoke, but now the Molotov is going to force leg gear back anyway. In that previous round, never mind that that Kiev did go down uh, to engine, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, I still like the position that he took. I like the risk out a long. It's something that I feel like I know it's really difficult to do on the CT side, but I wish more people would experiment with it. I think part of it is they, they, I mean, there's no, there hasn't been an op on the T side for Space Soldier, so you can take that risk. Obviously, if you're playing against another op, or you're going to be a bit more worried because there, it's just so difficult to win that battle when there's so many different places that it can be watched from. Major's going to stroll his way onto platform and find himself an easy headshot on the taps. And turning the corner, he gets another one on the next. It's just a two tap. And I mean, the bomb was starting to cheat towards the A bomb site, and now they're just going to head back to where there's success. Even though Keeve finds that kill, it's very little impact on how this round will play out. It's just save the AK-47 for a teammate. These early games, Moses, what uh, what would you do? I mean, not now, obviously. Now you barely got any control of your life at all. But back in the day, <laughs> uh, what do you do? Do you, do you get up early, go to the gym? Like, how do you how do you make sure you wake up and you're really sort of super fresh and, and ready to play? You don't have this kind of start the big is having right now. You taps it on two kills. Some, you know, it's not good enough, is it? No, I, I mean, I've felt this story a number of times. We've had some, we had some early games. I know with the ultimate we used to do, my team used to do push-ups in the tournament area. Yeah. Um, to get the blood going, some uh, some jumping jacks as well from time to time. You know, whatever, whatever fancy, uh, whatever took your fancy. I know my my brother once uh, we were on a team together gave a nice rousing speech in the hotel at 6 a.m. one day, and we actually had uh, security called on us for his uh, inspirational words. He's a bit of an intense man, yeah. Well, okay, so that's a that's a, that's something that you can replicate. Like, if your speech is so good that hotel calls security, then you're ready. My brother was one of those guys who we've had, we actually had it earlier in this 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 event actually on the stage um, with one of the coaches. But my brother was one of those guys where esports never used to have this many cameras around it on the players, yeah. and he was actually one of the guys where one of the first events where cameras actually came into a CPL the tournament admins had to tell him to stop shouting obscenities because the cameras were picking it up on all the other games and they were so just like, we can't have, like, you know, that's sponsors where it went don't want wrong. this. Yeah. We need to bring that back. He was a pioneer, Anders. Yeah. You would have li would have liked him. I feel like, um, I feel like we need to bring that back. Well, I have luckily met him, so, you know, but not obviously in his Oh, yeah, you day. have, haven't you? Yeah. I would, uh, I would say we need to return. Maybe that's what's missing from Big's inventory here. 
Just, you know, <laughs> bad language. Yeah, that would be cool. Something it certainly is. It's 9-0 right now, and um, now we're back in the game. Pretty much a default spread coming out here from Big, so... Looked like they maybe wanted to boost over at the B bomb side on top of that box, but um, so far they haven't. And uh, again, they're, they're locked into the cobblestone hell of not really being able to take many, much aggression here on the CT side. They just have to wait. Oh, well, that's fire. <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> it's not wrong, is it, Moses? No, it's not wrong at all. Uh, I thought he was actually going to win that fight for a second. Great response from Xanter is aggressive towards long A, and he's actually beating everyone. He's taking a lot of ground. He's taking huge liberties with his play, and that's too much. Pulls out the smoke to peek towards the double doors. Legia gets great damage and forces him back, and there was an option there to go for this. It's going to be tough. Paz has to win this battle. He's been great, but the spray doesn't connect. Yeah, but Kalix, he's managed to sneak down, and nobody's noticed. He's down and dropping. They just stay alive here. Legia will get one kill. Paz takes him down, and there's Kalix dropping next. The timing is so good, and Gobby, he's got to be very worried right now. Gets the Instant shot on Kalix. He can still do this out in the open. A great headshot coming in. Got B with a double kill. And now he's looking for Paz, who's ruined their dreams. Time and again, looking for more. But this time, Tamsin is going to come in with a great double kill to save the round, finally, for Space Soldiers. And he's actually running to pick up the AWP. This is... I mean, he has the time for it, but still. Anything you can get, isn't it? Finally, they're able to conquer Paz in a, in a clutch situation. He's been so, so good. This time, simply didn't have the information and commits to a peak before he got it, so goes down, but he's 18 and three. Come on, how is that possible? I mean, this is outrageous. Like I said, Santaris is the one that, that obviously had the reputation going into the tournament. Yeah. And that, I mean, this is this is what's needed, though. You, this is this was always the big question mark, as as Space Soldiers has been a team that's been hyped up to be this next team that'll break into the the professional circuit and be a competitive squad. The question always was, you guys got Zanteres. Who's going to be the next guy to step up on on the international stage? Obviously, I mean, this isn't this isn't the competition of like you know going deep into the major. You're not playing your G2s, your Fanatics, your phases, whatever it might be. But this is, you know, a team that did very, very well at the last major. We'll see other players be incredible. Major is going to have another entry. He's going to get a second. Paz is going to eliminate Tapson, and just like that, the hope of Big is gone. They're going to get reset. Oh, man, that's so rough. We've seen this so many times now where a CT side will sort of win a single round, and then there comes a knockout right afterwards. That's why I, that's why I've, I just love calling it the uppercut because it's exactly yeah. what it feels like, isn't it? Where you just see, you just see it get hit in the face, and there, there's nothing they can really do about it. They just drop. Kiev has to fight his way out to save this AWP, but the hunt is on, and the money's not even great for Space Soldiers. They just don't care. They just want this off away. They know they'll still have all the advantages. Jumping to get the information. Major's not going to peek. Kiev goes for the flick, and it doesn't even matter. He was getting wrapped on from behind. Quad kill for Major in the round, and these opening kills. I mean, this one, I guess, is a little bit unfortunate timing. Next, trying to go aggressive, but he just keeps rolling in. And as soon as he takes this long flank around, Leggy just, I mean, he can't fight that many angles all at once. I feel like Gobby, because of the smoke, didn't even see him. I think he just yeah. like, wrapped around, saw his leg, and takes the shot, and obviously it lands, and, and then poor Gobby just didn't even know what was about to hit him. What an inspirational story this is for Turkish Counter-Strike that has been sort of largely unknown. I feel like there's always been a, a, a solid player base there. Um, there are some of these countries that we don't hear of too much that still have quite a lot of active players. The other one that, that I'm always wondering about is India. I know that sounds sounds like a stretch maybe now, but there are a lot of people <laughs> in India playing Counter-Strike if you don't know. I did not know that. Well, I'm now actually, you do most. Yeah, now I know. Uh, I'm actually really... I'm, I'm like in Kazakhstan. I'm wondering oh, how yeah. many how many teams are somehow hidden in that that region that uh, that country that is just going to be incredible. I mean, per capita, they, they must they must be doing extraordinarily well at the moment. They gave it a great headshot, but again, maybe just a little bit too little, too late. Three, oh, this is four right now. Gobby and Tamsin are next left here in the twelfth round. Anything you can steal from the other team, any AK you can run away with, that would be great right now. Hopes and dreams, Anders. Hopes and dreams. They're nowhere near getting an exit kill. Nex and Godby aren't even going for it. I mean, it might be... A, I think it might have to actually even be a double save. No, they're going to buy into the next round. This is uh, disheartening, to say the least, for Big. It's going to be 11 to 1. They've had... I mean, part of this is, is 
as we've been talking about, is down to the maps, isn't it? Because they obviously came into the tournament thinking, well, Inferno is going to be our home map once again, and that really got shot down. Like, that idea could die quickly. And now that, you know, Cobblestone seems to be this, the, the next go-to, that, that's a problem, right? That if, if you know, you, you sort of only have two maps that you maybe feel like you can play, and both of them are looking questionable. Right, and we, um, the tough part is we haven't, seen like any uh, like outside of inferno and, and big we haven't seen any other map out of them at this like they haven't really even exper experimented with their own map pool have they they've just kind of gone obviously yeah. inferno they gave it two shots cobble now this is the second shot that'll that'll looks like it's about to get them eliminated which is uh unfortunate but so you, you just have to be impressed with space soldiers I, I think i'd rather focus on the fact that space soldiers have been playing so well and look how aggressive they don't want to slow this down they just want to end the game and paz is doing work he's closed out plenty of rounds and this time he starts it out with two kills and there's not even a chance for big to fight back into it i mean especially in a round like this where yes they could buy it but you don't have all the Molotovs and HE grenades to stop that kind of a rush in. So he just comes through the smoke. You're just finished boosting that guy onto the box and everybody's blind and then they're dead. I think the tough part for it as well is as a player sometimes when you're getting beat down this bad, right? Like you, you have a conversation with whoever you're playing a bomb site with and you're like, all right, this is what we're going to do this round. This is what they're doing. This is exactly how we're going to counter it. You go here, I'll go here. If this happens, I'll throw this flash or this nade or whatever it might be. And you're focused so much on what your what that adjustment is that you like almost forget to like look away from those flashbangs for the rush right because both those big players are blind that can't happen that's something that generally is worked out that somewhat avoids those initial flashbangs and this time they didn't do it paz is able to just crush them brutal beginning here to the first map of day number four 12-1 in favor of space soldiers with i mean we have to keep an eye that's on this that's so sick. They even throw like a follow-up flashbang as well. Once he's out and fighting, you saw Tapson up top just get sec like secondary blinded as soon as his teammate goes down. Yeah, what do you do? I mean, yeah. it, you have to stop them before they get out from that plateau. <laughs> you type quit in console <laughs> and just uninstall the game <laughs> and just have done. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. 21 and 5 on Paz. Again, out of control in this game completely. Four UMPs in that AK that Tapson was able to save. This is gonna be a little bit different. Three players towards long A. And actually, I think Big has the read because they're not feeling any pressure towards the B bomb site that they've had coming from that in pretty much every other round. So they're gonna go over towards A. There's some very proactive play across the map. Still doesn't work out, of course. That's unfortunate. Kalik's gonna follow up on engine. A third player is here. Paz gets one more kill and running into the fire. Oh no, Big. You had the stack, you had the pop flash peak, you had the flames on the ground, you had the nade into the choke point, and still Space Soldiers wins everything. Yeah, they lined it up so perfectly. <laughs> the reaction from Santaris is so quick as well. He gets flashed, he just jumps to the side, and yeah. then his teammate just takes over and says, I've got this. Very, uh, very, I mean, this is, when you're at this point for big, I feel like, and maybe this has been their feeling throughout the tournament, just that nothing's working. Like, it just, it, whatever it is we're doing, just everything is failing at this point. Yeah. There's no real good answer, it seems, at the moment. Double op set up for the T side, so another new look on the offense. Space Soldiers just running up the score. Hoping that at this point someone from Big is so frustrated that they just want to go take a peek and take a fight and walk right into an AWP. Grenades being used early on here. Tabzin inside of the B bomb site. All the rest spread out across the map. Very similar setup. And again, what else can you do at this point? Space soldiers, they've gone fast and they've gone slow, and it's all been working. Bit of a fight there as Gobby goes down. A little bit of team damage in between, I believe, but nothing that really matters. It's one round where they had a double AWP setup and even that, they couldn't really sort of power through with. Do they go back to T-spawn and trade out for the Ingots? Or maybe they're the Ops anymore. Oh. So Zan tears now. Working his way through drop. There's Paz, he's gonna swing around the corner. Actually, this is one of the rare times that actually won that initial fight, but it doesn't matter. Pressure comes from the other angle. And that one has success, and Keith, I feel like he's just felt so lonely this whole, this whole game. Yeah, he's been just on the other side of the map, and all the action has been here. 14 to 1. 
Ladies and gentlemen, space soldiers, just a couple of steps now from continuing. They're obviously not going to go all the way through to Boston just yet, but um, yeah. but uh, at least they're going to avoid elimination, which cannot be said for big if they uh, don't make essentially a 15-round comeback here. <laughs> it's got to be 15 in a row to yeah. win or, you know, play for overtime. Yeah, 14 can work too. Listen, I, it's, this is where you get into all the platitudes. One round at a time. Give me some more platitudes. Moses. That's the only one I had, actually. For this, for this big of a disparity. On any given Monday? Sunday. Yeah, yeah but it's Monday, so. That's a good point. I'll take it all back. Yeah, any given Monday, game of two halves. That's Yanko's favorite, as he would say. Right, yeah. Game of two um, halves. Uh, tweet us your favorite platitudes, and we'll, we'll, try and we'll try and put some of them on the broadcast. Need just a lot of encouragement. And from the looks of the, just the camera shots here, that, that is, that's not really happening, is it? No, it's not. Um... Uh, there's not a whole lot like honestly god like it, it is one of those things where as an in-game leader like, you gotta feel for god because it is like what do you what do you say in this kind of a situation there's no real speech you can give there's no kind of motivation you can provide to lean on so i think drinks are on me is uh is maybe one your favorite platitude <laughs> <laughs> Paz and calix now holding the drop and Sorry if we're making light of the situation, but right now Big is just in a terrible hole. Leggy at the will open up, winning the pistols the first step, and it gets a second kill on Paz Tabson chiming in to take down Engine. That's the start. Major and Zantara's now two versus three as they take down Leggy, but the bomb is down. They should not be able to retake this. Big can play for time here, just wait them out. Oh. Shoot them in the face works. Yeah, shooting in the face always works. Zantara's now. He did pick up a kit. He's got armor. He's got one flashbang as well. He's got to find this first kill, and he gets completely blinded. There's some of that utility usage from Big. Now, we haven't been able to see yet, but a great opening from Leggy. I don't know what Kallax is doing. I guess that's an interesting uh, way to fall back into drop zone. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm fine with you holding plateau, but not on that side of the wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta... That can't be the plan. No, definitely not a good idea. So, yeah, he misstepped a tiny bit. Definitely got punished for it. Great opening for Big. 12 and 14. So we're just going to... The trouble now is... All you can do really watching the game is just hold your breath and wait, you know? Like it's, you, even if they get up to, like, 14, 8, you still can't really be like, oh, yeah, it's really... How you know that one misstep is probably going to be the end of it. So, yeah, let's see what they can do. Let's let's make them prove it to us. Well, on behalf of Henry G, I have to uh, talk about why Space Soldiers has decided to invest into this round as Major gets burned alive. You're up 14 to 1. You lose the pistol. No reason. Just make sure your first gun round, you have everything you could want. Yeah, that's it, true. It's Henry those, was, uh, was not loving that yesterday. I mean... He, don't love it at any point. I think all like I think uh, economy is one of those weird parts of the game that is very convoluted these days with some of the bonus money and everything. But there is just no sense to it when you have that big of a lead. Like you don't need to get this second round. You don't need to turn it around. And yeah. now this this likely will have no impact on the game because of how widespread the score is. But a simple way to put it is you need two more rounds and you have you know 14 with which to get the two. And now are you more likely to get those two using, you know, C sets or M4s? Right. So why not have more M4 rounds, basically? Yeah. And it just it just puts you in that, that scary spot where they could make a comeback if you... The one way they can make a comeback into this game is if Space Soldiers just completely destroy their own economy. So we'll see, but a good second round in this second half for Big. They're going to get a third. Interesting enough, it's, it is Legia leading the way. 14 kills for him. He's the only one who's not negative. He's 14 and 14. Yeah, right. not always the player that we look for, but I mean, at this point, anybody who wants to to take up the mantle and try and push the team forward should probably be welcome to do so. 14-3, and the 18th round now commencing. Good news is we're going to get a couple of more rounds we'll get the cobblestone or the, the dragon lord drop, Moses. Have you thought about that? Maybe that's the plan all along. <laughs> Maximize the drops. It for, doing it for the people. Do remember, guys, the, the more people that watch, the higher the rate is of the drops. So if you invite your friends, it increases drop rate for everybody. So, it's, you know, you have an incentive to get people to watch. Think about it. <laughs> Especially on, on this map. That'd be quite nice. Well, there's Gobby. Again, leading the way. Another stack towards the A-bomb site for Space Soldiers. 
Molotov. They can hear the calls coming out. Flash phase utility being spent now. Nades doing great damage. So are the flames. So many players from the Space Soldiers brought down low. And it's a pinch out of the bomb site. This is feeling uncomfortable. Great win from Paz. Unfortunately, the rest of the team can't do a whole lot. Paz is just going to bail out with his armor and CZ. Run to the other side of the map. Live with that armor. It's $1,000 he wouldn't have to spend. 23 and 6 for him. It's a pretty good game. Yeah, imagine having died only six times in 18 rounds. That's, well, round isn't quite done, but still, that's uh, it's not bad at all. No. So, I mean, good. this is a good round for Big in the sense that even though there was a big stack on that B bomb site, they, they didn't sort of overcommit to the fight, right? They, they let space soldiers wait it out and peek themselves into death, and then yeah. that was it. So you, you want to see that. You want to see them really keep the cool here. I mean, even at, even down this big of a disparity, you got to imagine that Gobby's going to have a well-drilled team, especially on the T side. Uh, and you don't just lose that discipline, regardless of the score, regardless of how you know excited and hope, hopeless you're feeling. You're still going to be able to you know, throw the nades and use the advantage of your rifle. So here we go into the first gun round. This is where just to just quickly to refer back to that second round about their buy. If you look at guys like Major Zantares and Calix, yes, they have the M4s. Uh, but, you know, some are missing head armor, and then you look at the nades, they don't have smokes, they don't have kits. So only one kit that's on engine, and that's because he went down to the UMP. So this is where not investing into that second round could have really helped Space Soldiers. We'll see if it's going to come back to haunt them. I feel like, especially in retake situations, lacking those grenades can be so rough. Has the timing got be makes himself known and he's going to be forcing them back engine as well on the ramp just slightly drawing back from that position major though is, is quite far forward on that plateau you love to see that engine has taken a lot of damage from spam down to 17 hp so he's going to have a really tough time if the hit were to come in and it's looking likely at the moment four players here already taps it as the fifth is rotating over Major should be able to have the information if, uh, I think they just got pop flashed and peeked into a new position. They should be finding this out between him and Xanteres. I imagine we'll see some kind of a rotate coming right now, and yeah, Xanteres is kind of cheated, but hasn't committed to it. So a lot of pressure on Paz. If he goes down, Engine cannot even get in a fight. Well, leg gear is gone already. Bring the bomb back towards the B bomb site. Santaris is starting to rotate out. This fake is actually working out big, and this, uh, this is what they've been doing so much uh, in the tournament so far. They've been very good at drawing out their opponents once they're on the T side, but now they've lost got B, so now the rotation is going to start to come back. Santaris moving into the site, and he wins the fight against Tapson. That was the one thing that could not happen. They needed everybody here on big to stay alive. It goes for a bit more. The bomb gets dropped with 10 seconds left. It's key that a one versus five, and Santaris will take every single one of them down at the end. 15 to four, I mean, they had the whole team drawn out of the B-bomb site. Yeah. And it wasn't enough. No, it, re it really wasn't whatsoever. And, uh, I mean, Xanter's essentially winning a 1v3 over on that side of the map. Great job from Paz, that first kill. These are critical. I mean, this kill comes in when all of his teammates are there, but like we said, Engine was so low. If he had lost that initial battle and Xanter's Gets back in a position, he kind of senses what's coming eventually, and as the clock is running out, Big not even in the bombsite planting, he's able to get those three kills. Was just trying to hold his ground for the retake. Has again flashed back as he was last round, a double up setup, desperation for Big. More exchanges coming through the door. Very scary for Legia, almost walked right into it. Worked out as well. Pretty aggressive with the AWP, not scared to take the fight at close range. And at this this stage, they really sort of do have to roll the dice to try and find a way back into the game. Need to win 11 straight rounds to get into even just over time. Now there's going to be the boost in the middle, very popular. Could have definitely been a kill, but missed the opportunity. The tree caught the bullet instead, and Key will take down Paz, so now something's happening. As Antares has rotated engine, still taking that fight, ill-advised. Zantares again is all alone. He's going to try and make his way to the side. I think they spotted him with that jump, and the off is swift from Kiev. Kallax and Major just backing away from this fight. Want to keep the rifles. They're going to be a broken economy again. If they do want to buy into this, they'd have to have these two M4s survive, and even then it would, it would struggle to get some good weaponry on the other three players. So whatever they can do here at the end. 
That's not bad at all, but the game really does change quite a bit when you've got your back to the wall like this, when you can't lose any rounds, no mistakes. It's it's great if you can have, continue to have openings like this. You can obviously pull all the way through. I think the trouble hits if you have a start where nobody even has to die, but just two people get sort of wounded, get to, to you know, below 40 health. Yep. Then you know, oh man, this is the round. You know, now it's going to, like, it can definitely change the mentality on the team. The nice thing, I mean, <laughs> if there is a silver lining, which I guess technically there's not, but when you're down this much, I don't think you really feel that pressure of elimination of the last round ending things until you get close to being able to actually make a comeback like until you get to like 10 11 rounds like you'll still see like crazy aggressive plays because big knows they have, they have nothing to lose at this point essentially they've already kind of lost the game if they get back up towards 10 or 11 that's when you'll start to see maybe a bit more reserved play a little, a little bit more like you actually are scared of taking a fight that you'll lose and if they put uh, space soldiers economy back in the hole and at least that is working out, so not bad at all here. Keeve quite quick with the AWP. As we said in the first half, he was isolated for so much of the time on the other side of the map. Couldn't really do anything. Well, just pistols. Fast pace towards the B site. Keeve, this is what I'm talking about. Keeve is going to be making aggressive plays. Gets dropped there. Taps it, this found his way off drop, no one has eyes on it. Missed some shots though, that was a bit sketchy, but now Lagia has chimed in, so... Space will just slowed it down, but they can't stop it, and now they've got Kallax out in the open. Zantares is next up for Tapson. This is what we saw against North, was Tapson just being a beast coming down drop. And at least doing it in that round against Pistols. It would be, I mean, if they want to make this comeback, he's got to wake up. And he slowly is. I mean, you saw him have zero kills for a very long time in, in that first half, and now he's up to 11. So third on the scoreboard on his own team, um, which is, which is, I mean, pretty impressive, actually. So done a, done a good job. You could argue that it's a bit late, maybe, uh, in the day to, to sort of wake up, but he just seems to not have a good time at all playing the CT side. Yeah, I mean, yeah, his, his, you have to remember as well, they attacked his position quite frequently, and they usually did it, I mean, without big, gaining any kind of momentum or stringing rounds together, they could never really get a solid economy going, so poor guy didn't have, sometimes, the tools needed to slow down some of those aggressive plays from Space Soldiers. I managed to get the first kill this time on engine, and they burned out Major a bit. That's the counter boost that we've been talking about that's been lacking. They don't really go all the way up, and you can tell their gear is on the other side. Slightly paranoid that something's going to be coming. Even if they get the kill on their gear here, they should be able to just rush the A-bomb site. No problem, but they started to rotate over. If, because Mage is boosted up, they're going to put Kallax over there as well. It's interesting. Ooh, almost the timing. Lakia though, responds quite nice. That should set off the bells. Not necessarily that they have to go back, but they should realize they're going to encounter some form of resistance. Doesn't really matter, does it? Three headshots come out from the AKs, Tapson, Nex, and Gob. So they've got seven now, Anders. It's definitely trending in the right direction. I what number say. do they need to get to before you say, all right? 15. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know it's depressing, Moses, uh. but. That was a fun game that we played right now, yeah. just there. Just shutting it down. <laughs> I mean, I think the problem is actually, I would say I would say these are the easier rounds to, to win because right now I think the, it, there is obviously pressure on big, but I think you also have that like almost delirious feeling of like, I mean, what can we do? Let's just pray and do our best, you know? Let's yep. show them what we got while we're going out. But once you get to 14, 15, like 13, 15, 14, 15, then it becomes serious again. Here's the thing, it was, uh, I mean, Space Soldiers just yesterday came back from 13 to 2, or 2 to 13 down against Gambit on train to make a very close game of it. Yeah. So they better realize that, you know, they, they should close this out as soon as possible. And surely there's two opening picks. Gob gets one, Nex and Legia co combined to burn Major. I think that's the second or third time he's died from a molly in this half. And all of a sudden, a five on three. And yeah, the one, I mean, just to go back to that, the one thing that Adren said after they'd won the game, I mean, they eventually did win it out Gambit. He said in the post game, when you get up 13 to two, you do not necessarily like fall asleep, but you feel so confident that you don't feel worried until the comeback has already essentially happened. You know, you look at the score and you're like, 15, seven, that's fine. 15, eight, that's fine. 15, nine, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, they have, they have 13 rounds. If we lose this, we're broke and then they can get to overtime. So. I mean, as much as this was an incredible start for Space Soldiers, they need to make sure they close this out quick. 
Yeah, there's no reason. I mean, especially because you have to remember, even if Space Soldiers win this game, they're going to be playing more games today. Um, so you want to make sure that you sort of you have the strength for it, that you're not doubting yourself too much. Like, why not close this game out as soon as you can? And then you can watch the other th teams play. You can sort of prepare yourself mentally. If you, if you have to you sort of spend too much energy and you barely win this game or win it in overtime or something like that, sure, it'll, it'll deplete a little bit of your confidence. It has to. 3-5 here, and obviously uh, for a long time this round has already been lost from Space Soldiers. They already decided to save, and they're going to be the B-bomb side. While Big are out hunting for them, and why should they not? They have so much money, and they obviously can't save the guns anyway, so... And this is just more of it. The more they take these rifles away, the easier the following rounds are going to go. And, you know, I mentioned it at the start. The one way that the, they can come back into this is if they make sure that they keep the economy of Space Soldiers just as ruined as possible throughout it. Getting these guys would be a nice step. Collix survives. And he does even longer, but not at the end. Lakia finds it with the pistol. It's like we always say, those last seconds, they just last so long. They just hang, don't they? Oh, Major. Would he be able to... No, it's going to spread into the corner, isn't it? He had one HP in that corner. So when that Molotov came in, he was like, oh, shit. Not, <laughs> not good, is it? He's just like, oh, guys, I'm dead. I'm dead. Doing his <laughs> best for impression. I need... A fire extinguisher. <laughs> 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 uh, hope. What comes next in this game, Anders? You think they make like a water grenade that your teammate can throw? Um, Actually, I guess smoke does the same thing. That'd be kind of pointless, yeah. Smoke water balloons, though. That that is a friendly thought, isn't it? Just to soften up Counter Strike a bit for the sensitive audience. <laughs> I hope not. Well, Xantera's burning alive to Nex and picked off by Legia. Starting to look good on this T side. There's some of that tactical brilliance that we saw to them that so many people respect out of God be led teams over the years. Doing a very good job, and it's, I mean, yeah, it's against missiles, but these rounds have been clean. Like, they haven't even been in danger in some of these force buys that Space Soldiers have had, and you have to admire that at the very least. Molotov out, they know exactly where he is. You can hear the shouts across the studio, and actually, he does burn Nex. He's got himself in a one on two, all of a sudden a one on one. Oh no, how has this happened? The Molotov actually burns him alive, and now, triple kill for Kalix, waiting on the other side there. Key with the timing, but it's not good enough. Quad kill, and just like that, with pistols and nothing else, Kalix saving space soldiers here so that they didn't have to continue fighting this battle. 16-8, ladies and gentlemen, and that's gonna be big out of the tournament. Oh no, that came out of nowhere. That, that, was so that quick. came so fast that he just wins that and turns that around, and you can see crushing defeat.